right, everybody, this is Chikashi here on the floor of PAX 2012. We're over here at the Square Enix booth checking out Tomb Raider. I'm here with... Mark Droz. I'm the Senior Product Manager on Tomb Raider for Square Enix. Cool. Uh, so let's, let's dive right into it. Uh, right. Let us know what we're looking at. All right, well, you are looking at Lara Croft, obviously. Let's take a look at her. She is uh, just escaped from... Uh, a cave, she's climbed her way out, and now she's going to explore this island that she's found herself on. This is an island uh, off the coast of Japan. If you remember uh, from earlier footage, uh, her ship, the Endurance, has crashed here, and she has found herself a little bit disoriented, and she's trying to find out more about this island and uh, its inhabitants. We're going to try not to fall. So can you tell us a little bit about how, how you're controlling now? Just pure, purely with the left stick right now, just trying to keep her balanced. And obviously, there, you know, there's... Uh, Laura does speak, she's speaking to herself. We don't have the sound here, obviously we're at a show, but um, there is, trust me, there's a lot of uh, internal dialogue going on right now. She's wondering where she is and where her friends are, and uh, she's on a quest to find them. And this will bring us to what Tomb Raider is known for. It's, this is very early in the game, I want to stress that. Uh, Laura has just, uh, like I said, just arrived on the island, and um, you know, we are, we have not uh, really met uh, too many of the inhabitants, but we are going to do a little platforming here. tell this is uh, a Lara Croft is younger here this is really a reboot of the entire franchise the Lara Croft you see here is not the battle-hardened Tomb Raider this is her first adventure this is this is you'll see through this story it's an origin story much like Batman Begins or James Bond in Casino Royale you're gonna you know see her you know go through a variety of trials and tribulations that are gonna eventually make her into the superheroine that you've known and loved before You also see here, obviously, she's finding stuff. There is some salvaging skills that you can uh, go that will help build experience points. Sam? Now she's obviously trying to contact some of the other survivors of the shipwreck right here. To no avail. So she's obviously cold, <laughs> and so we're going to start a fire. Is anyone listening? Please respond. These are cinematics that are playing here. It's not me doing anything.
So she obviously stayed there for the night. She realized that she can't, you know, it's like you gotta eat, right? So she's gonna start looking for food. There's some food, there's some food. But unless she's very fast, I don't think she's gonna chase them down. God. So wait. Yeah, so well 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 not good luck for that gentleman hanging from the tree. It is good luck for uh, Lara, because she's gonna use that bow. And again, just a little bit of light platforming here, nothing too big. How much control do you have in these sequences like this? Uh, in this one, well, you see, I'm, I gotta use the. If I don't do the left stick properly, I'm not gonna get it. So I do, I do control. I do have to reach there. That that wasn't that was not scripted. That was me having to just time it right to grab the bow. Just based on the timing of it swinging and, and you correct and, and moving my left stick to get it. But now I've got a bow and. Uh, there's the instructions here. And now I've got a bunch of arrows and there are there are other packs in case I am a bad shot, there are other arrows, packs that I can find. But now let's go hunt some deer. And you can indeed, uh, just for fun, if you want to kill a rabbit or a bird, you can do it and, and, and use that for food too, but you really want to shoot a deer. So is there multiple ways of approaching this? Like, you know, this stealth sneaking attack? It's, it's, you know, you, you kind of ran up on them, but, but can you can you sneak yeah. up on them and, and kill you them? You can, you can. Well, one shot is not gonna kill the deer. Um, there's a deer with two arrows in it. You see, I've, I've wounded it. That should uh, put it out. One tough deer. Yeah, this is one tough deer. Now I've got to go find some more arrows. I am uh, out. But that's okay. There's some. <laughs> well, at least we get to see a little bit more of the terrain here. Yes, there's our wounded deer again. the hunt resume. Got three arrows. Let's go find our wounded deer. So obviously red is uh, the target zone. Missed him. There we go. Okay. That was a tough deer, um, but he's finally down for the count. And again, Laura is not the Tomb Raider. She's never had to do this before. She's going to have to go and get a little bloody to get some food to keep on surviving on this island. Now those are survival skills, They're, you'll see a bunch of icons, they're different skills that you acquire, uh, salvage, hunting, um, later they're, they're, you'll see a, as I roll through, bone collecting, stuff like that. So uh, you, you'll see as you go through, you'll gain exp valuable experience, uh, a variety of tasks that again are all geared toward helping you survive on the island. You see you get XP for doing that. Just going to grab some more bows just because. 
And now I want to navigate back. So you have a map here, which shows where I am and how, how to get back to that. And then we're going to eat. So let's get back there. There you go, back at the camp. Yeah. Yeah, it's good there's a map, obviously, since I was lost for a little bit. And these are the survival skills I was talking about. And obviously it says exactly what I was talking about. You uh, use that to uh, upgrade Lara's abilities in various things. And we're back, and as I, after I hit A, you're going to see some of the survival skills and XP that I've gained. Seems like there are different, uh, multiple tiers for each, each of those yeah, skills. That, that, that is absolutely correct. And as you play through the game, you will uh, you'll see more. So do you unlock more skills, or is that pretty much the set that you you? You're... Uh, there will be more skills. There will be more skills. This is Conrad so now Captain she's actually going to hear something, and then she, what is she hearing now? It's from Roth, who's the captain of the ship. So she has found some a friend, and uh, this friend is going to guide her. He's going to ask her to come and up and see him, and. Um, so now Laura has found someone that she can trust again on the island, and eventually she's going to make her way to him. It was pretty much at the end of this demo? You're pretty much at the end. Just give it one more moment. So we're, we're in sort of the forest of Japan now. Is there any other environments or locales you can kind of tease us with? Uh, I'd rather not at this point. There is going to be uh, plenty of new footage, but uh, the, this, for, unlike the previous Tomb Raiders in the past, this all takes place on an island. There are going to be different terrains, but it's not like you're going to, you know, if you look at Underworld, you're not like exploring the Arctic and then a tropical island. You're, there are different terrains and environments, but they're all contained on this island. Do we have any, uh, what, what is the release information? March 5th, 2013. And on what platform? Uh, it is going to be 360, PS3, and PC, but PC is via digital download only. It's not going to be a PC box skew. All right, well, this has been Tomb Raider from the floor of PAX 2012. Uh, keep your eye on gamesradar.com for all of our other PAX 12 coverage. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Enjoy.